In this quick recording, I wanted to show you where you can go to learn more about Google Sites. Google Sites is a great way to stay in touch with your parents, or if you're a teacher who teaches several students, you can, um, like a specials teacher or a coach, you can put all of your materials in one place and give out one web address to your families so that they can find your information. If you've never used Google Sites ever before, I recommend that you start here at the Teacher Center. So that's teachercenter.withgoogle.com forward slash first day trainings. Welcome to Google Sites. You won't remember all that, but we'll have that comment in the um, comment section of this video. Also, you will want to um, start here with the basics so that you can see what's possible with Google Sites. For those of you who would prefer a PDF or some kind of written description, there is a PDF available for download. And this will show you exactly what to do in linear order to set up your Google site. For those of you who would rather just see best tips and tricks and you'll figure out the tech on your own, you'll want to watch these videos as you navigate your way through creating your Google site. But before we stop, I do want to take us to Google Sites to show Whitfield County users something that might happen to you. If you've been in Whitfield County since the days that we use Sites for other projects, you may land on this page. This is the Google Sites page for the old tool. You'll want to make sure that you click on New Google Sites so that you go to sites.google.com forward slash new to create a new modern Google Site. Something that Google added just in the last few days is the template gallery and I highly encourage you to go to the template gallery and pop it open to look at the templates that have already been pre-populated. If you are making a website for just your class, there's already a class template in there. If you're making a website for your grade level, for your team, for your um, department, you might want to use the Teams version. There's also one for a club if you have a media center, a reading circle, or something like that. And then of course there are other templates that might um, suit you in your uses as well. But those are brand new. Those template gal that template gallery is brand new. I do want to pop open the class website just to let you see what's inside so that you can decide whether you want to create that one or create one totally from scratch. In the class pre-made template, you can go over to the side to change themes, but understand if you change themes, it changes them for everyone. So if you're sharing this site as you click through the themes, it's going to be a universal change. For example, if you love the color purple, but your teammate prefers teal, if you change it to purple, it will not just change it on your page, but it's going to change it on every page in the website. So make sure that you're aware of that. One way to get around that is that you can create links to pages that already exist. So if I click here, I'm going to create a brand new page entirely, but I can also just simply create a redirect to a page that's already out there. So in this case, I'm going to click, I'm going to create a redirect to my site. And then when I do that, I'm going to click done and it's going to be GN site and then when I do that you're going to see that that's an option. So over here when I go to preview, the preview mode is here. It looks like a computer and a cell phone. When I click here and I want to go to my different pages, I click home, schedule, this, is from, this one is from the template, these are already built out, newsletter and then I can click to GN site and that loads an entirely different site that I've already made in Google Sites but in this case in another account. So if you want to link to other people that's how you would do that. Now you may feel like you're not ready to start a site from scratch and you want to use or you're not ready to do a template you actually want to build a site from scratch. So let's take a look at this one. This site has nothing in it except one redirect and if I want to work on it then I go to this site and I can use all of the tools under insert. The one tool that I've used here is called the embed tool and that allows me to put a URL of another site there. Sometimes that works and the site is um, encapsulated in your site like this but many times it will only do a link so you'll have to play with that to see if it works.
Even if you build your site from scratch, you do have some um, basic layouts that you can choose from. And then some newer things that have rolled out are things like collapsible text. You can now put a table of contents in and some other things. So if you're comfortable with um, exploring, you can do that. To add a new page, whether it's a redirect or a page within your site, you click on the Pages button. And remember, when you click Themes, you're changing the theme for everyone. Please take some time to go through the training modules. And if you have any questions about personalizing your own site for your students here at Whitfield County Schools, reach out to either myself or to Pam Pettyjohn. Thank you.